Hi everyone, welcome back to Dental Spotlight. My name is Renee, I'm a hygienist at Provident Dentistry at Canton Park. Today we are going to be talking about mouthwashes. Now, a lot of my patients ask me uh, if they have to floss or brush that often because they use mouthwash. So let me say mouthwash is not a substitute for brushing and flossing. You can kind of think of plaque as like algae on a rock in a fish tank. The mouthwash just kind of washes over that. You, you need a mechanical action to get that plaque off. So remember, it's not a substitute. It's just an added benefit and you don't have to use it. But if you do like to use mouthwash, let's go through the different types. This one right here, Crest Scope, this is more of just a cosmetic mouthwash. It helps freshen breath and it has a, a pleasant taste. So that's good for that. The Listerine Zero, this has antibacterial properties in it. So if you uh, have gingivitis, prone to gingivitis gum disease, you can use this after brushing and flossing. The ACT products have more fluoride in them. They have fluoride in them to help with cavities. So if you're prone to cavities, you're gonna wanna use the ACT and also Listerine makes a mouthwash with fluoride in it. This other mouth rinse chlorhexidine, this is something that your dentist will prescribe to you if you're prone to gum disease, periodontal disease, this will help with that. And you can get stain with this. So if you notice staining, talk to your dentist and we can help you with that. And this last mouth rinse, it's called biotine. It, it helps with dry mouth. So if you feel like your mouth is dry, this will provide you some relief, okay? So with mouth rinse, you're gonna wanna follow the directions that are on the back of the bottle. Usually it's about three quarters of a cap full, depending on how big the cap is. So you just wanna measure it out like that and you wanna swish for 30 seconds. with kids um, you don't give kids mouth rinse unless you are sure that they can spit so don't give really little kids mouth rinse they can end up swallowing it if you or your child swallows it you can contact poison control all right thanks for hanging out with me and if you have any questions at all as always you can call us email us or Facebook message us thank you